Hello everyone and welcome to this Moodle tutorial. In this tutorial, you will be able to learn how to create a sandbox course in the Moodle site so that uh, you can use the course that you will create as a sandbox course for the Moodle training for teachers. So once you are in the LMS page, and suppose that you are logged in already from the address bar click on the address bar and type in the lms.nefiloweb.com.ph url type slash and then course and then press enter so this time you will be able to see all the course categories that have been created in this Moodle site. So you don't need to worry about how these categories were created. All you need to do is to click on the sandbox courses because um, this is where you are going to create your sandbox course for the training. And now the sandbox courses category will be opened and as you can see the course category that is selected is the sandbox course or the sandbox courses and you will be able to see this add a new course button click on this button so this allows you to add your course that you are going to use in Moodle or in this Moodle training. And now, you will be able to see the course settings. So this is the settings of the course. And as you can see, there are many um, sections that you need to click. Now, in order for you to see right away the settings inside each, each section, all you need to do is to click on the expand all link here on the upper right side and when you browse you will be able to see right away all the settings inside each sections all right so let's go back to the top and then let's fill out this form so for so you first in general section you need to supply the course full name for example, my course full name is Moodle Learning Management System. And you should also supply the course short name. For example, um, LMS or LMS 101. And make sure that your category is sandbox courses. The course visibility should be show. You may set the course start date. So please make sure that um, you have set it to the current date unless um, it will not be um, seen by your students later um, because later you're going to enroll students. So make sure that the current date is set up in this course, course start date. For the course end date, it's optional, but by default, it's, enab uh, it's enabled. So you can select the date or the course end date. So make sure that uh, during the Moodle training for teachers, all your students will be able to still access this up to the last week of your of our training so the, because there will be collaboration so please make sure to set the course end date um, right after the uh, our course or training the course ID number is optional so um, you can skip it blank and then for the description section the course summary you can enter here uh, for example the summary of your course the brief description or the general 
um, objectives or learning outcomes so you can put here on the description and then um, there is also the course image settings which allows you to upload an image so the image will be the image of your course um, it will be seen by the students like a thumbnail um, in the dashboard once they are enrolled into your course next for the course formats format you can either select topics format or weekly format for the topics format um, this allows you to create custom topic name uh, in every section um, also in the weekly format by default uh, it's a uh, week its name is um, on a weekly basis but it also allows you to customize your topic name then the number of sections by default is four so if you know already how many sections or how many topics or weeks are you going to uh, you're going to have on your course then you can set it based on um, the number of topics or the number of weeks but um, if you haven't um, determined yet the number of weeks or topics you can set any number here because um, later you can still add a topic or remove a topic or a section then we have here hidden sections are uh, there are two options first is the hidden sections are shown in collapsed form or hidden sections are completely invisible so it depends on you whether uh, whatever you like to choose from these options and the course layout also has two, two options show all sections on one page or show one section per page so I'll just select here the default and for the appearance section we have here do not force uh, by default it's actually English is the first language but if uh, for example you have students or other foreign students like um, Chinese Japanese you can ask your Moodle administrator to install the language and it will be um, shown here so I'll just um, leave it as is as um, default then the number of announcement show grade book of to students yes show activity reports I'll set this, this to yes for the files and uploads the maximum upload size is um, 20 MB but you can limit the size uh, of the uploads of your students in your course let's say 2 MB or 5 MB and then the completion tracking by default is set to yes um, group mode there is no group yet in my course so I'll just leave it as is the role renaming um, if you want to set the name of the teacher for example into instructor or instead of student a participant then you can put here the word so that's only an alternate um, alternate word for this role or a per, for a particular role and then if you have no more other settings then click save and return so now I have here the Moodle learning management system and then if I click this um, I should be able to see the course settings that I have created so there are four topics and then the name of my the course short name of my course the name of my course so you will be able to see this here so on the topic name since I have selected a topic um, in the course format so by default topic name names default is topic one or the topic number so in order for you to um, edit 
you can just click this gear icon on the upper right side so this is called the actions menu or the edit settings so click on this and then click turn editing on so once you've clicked editing on um, you will be able to see some um, functionalities that you can add or features that you can add um, into your course so for example if you want to add an activity or resource there are many Moodle has many activities and resources as well so you can just select any of the activities or resources you think um, you should be needing on your topic then um, there is actually a separate discussion on how you can um, turn editing on or add some activities or resources. So, but for uh, initial discussion, so this is how you can um, manage or add an activity or resource. You can even move the topic into one topic or another so you can um, sort out or reposition the topic so that's all for this tutorial and i hope you learned something new and um, i hope that you will be able to create your own sandbox course in the moodle uh, in the moodle site so that um, you can use the sandbox course all throughout our Moodle training for teachers. So thank you very much.